everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse and we have a planting tutorial for you today. This is our coral shades we're going to be doing. So we plant these in our 15 inch plastic hanging baskets, uh, measures about 15 inches across, lots of soil volume, holds lots of water and soil, which is perfect because this mix does get really large. And we have uh, pre-wet the potting soil. And then as always, we put our slow release fertilizer on I get a lot of questions about our slow release. The kind we use here is a commercial type that we get in bulk bags. It doesn't come in retail packages, but we do have a very similar slow release fertilizer in small buckets, which is a perfect size for you to use at home. So we do have that product available in store. So to start off, we always have our dibble boards. A lot of people have also asked, how do we make these? These were scrap plywood that one of our um, young staff cut out for us and made to fit inside of our baskets. And we just cut up some wooden dowels and used a wood screw to secure them in the spots where we want the stamp. And just an old kitchen handle used. So we give that a nice push. If your soil is not wet, the stamp doesn't work very well. We like to have everything pre-wet before planting so that we can make sure our plants are level. So the first plant that we put in this is a Dracaena. We are trialing a whole bunch of these with other grasses for the center this year just to see what we like. And so we go ahead and the Dracaena we want to have fairly secure. So we do kind of push the soil back hard around the middle because they're a bit floppy and this helps keep it upright. When we put the hanger on that will help as well. So then we have five spots here in this particular mix to fill in. We're gonna start with our begonia. This is a Miss Montreal begonia. It's a beautiful, creamy, champagne colored begonia, and it is truly beautiful, and it gets quite large. This mix, with all the plants in it, can go in the shade or in the sun. So if you have multiple places, but you want, you want consistency in your baskets, this one can go anywhere. Also pops beautifully into a planter because it has the thriller of the grass in it. So the, um, when you're planting begonias, they always have a pointy side. Always point the point to the outside of the basket because the flowers will flow out that direction. So we've got that in. Our next plant is a potato vine. This is actually a Proven Winners Red Hawk potato vine. And same thing, it does have kind of a predominant point. And we're gonna put that on the opposite side of that begonia so that we have two thrillers going or two spillers going out overside. This here is our Main Street Boulevard coleus and this has beautiful peach that gets a lot more prominent as it grows. We'll show you a picture of it finished and we um, we're just that's going to get big and tall. We'll put that right beside the begonia. It doesn't matter exactly where these five plants go because it does fill out quite evenly. This here, you can see some beautiful, delicate white blooms. This is our Euphorbia, and Euphorbia is a beautiful filler. We use it in planters and baskets the same way you might use baby's breath in a flower bouquet. It just fills in all those gaps beautifully. And white, a bit of white in a planter or basket kind of makes the other colors pop out a bit more. And this, even though it's quite small, this is our beautiful Diacea. This is a peach colored Diacea. So what we love about this mix is it really has the corals, the rusty tones, and it pops out against the white and the foliage. So there we have it. This is our main, our, our uh, coral shades basket with our Main Street coleus, our begonia, our dioecia, euphorbia, and potato vine along with the grass. And again, we are trialing some new grasses this year just to see what uh, versatility this basket will have. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse and we have a planting tutorial. Blah, 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 blah. It has a... Um, I'm going to start over actually. Yeah. What does it have? I'll, I'll go through that. I'll go through that as I go.